we are going to prove the cauchy's first integral formula that states let fz be analytic in simply connected domain containing the simple closed contour c and if z not is inside c then we have to show that f of z not that is the value of the function at the point z not is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi iota into the integral of f of z divided by z minus z not over the contour c right so here fz is analytic analytic means that is continuous everywhere it is continuous everywhere in its domain and if it is continuous everywhere in its domain then it is also continuous at the point z not right so fz is analytic in simply connected domain simply connected domain that is a path connected domain where one can continuously shrink any simple closed curve into a point okay let's start with the proof now since f is continuous in its domain and in particular at the point z naught the definition of continuity that is for given epsilon positive there exists delta positive for which mod of f of z minus f of z naught is strictly less than epsilon for mod of z minus z naught less than delta this is the definition for the continuity right okay so here we are interested in constructing a circle z minus z naught equal to r where this r is strictly less than delta right so if this is your circle c1 having the radius r then your delta can be taken as this that is the delta radius right here r is strictly less than delta and this is your simple closed contour c in which the function fz is analytic so let's write this therefore for a given epsilon positive we can construct a circle c1 that is z minus z naught is equal to r inside c right and and small enough such that mod of f of z minus f of z naught is strictly less than epsilon for all z on c1 for all z on c1 right so now let's use the cauchy's theorem for a multiply connected region so therefore by cauchy's theorem for multiply connected region, we know that the result is the integral over C minus C1. That is equal to 0. That means the integral over C is equal to integral over C1. So by Cauchy's theorem for multiply connected region, we are having the integral over C f of z divided by z minus z naught dz. This is equal to integral over C1, right? Fine, is it okay? Alright. So, this is further equal to integral over C1. Let's add and subtract f of z0 because we need that. Taking these two together. So, this is equal to integral over C1 f of z0 divided by z minus z0 dz plus integral over C1 f of z minus f of z0 divided by z minus z0 dz taking this constant outside we get f of z naught integral over c1 1 divided by z minus z naught dz plus integral over c1 f of z minus f of z naught divided by z minus z naught dz and this is nothing but 2 pi iota right so this is equal to 2 pi iota f of z naught plus integral over c1 f of z minus f of z naught divided by z minus z naught dz reason integral over c1 1 divided by z minus z naught dz is equal to 2 pi iota please mark this as 1 let's focus on to the second term of this equation since 
If I consider the mod of the second term, that is the integral over C1, f of z minus f of z0 divided by z minus z0 dz. This is less than equal to integral over C1 mod of the numerator divided by mod of the denominator into mod of dz. Right? And because we have written that, mod of fz minus f of z0 is strictly less than epsilon, right? And also, mod of z minus z0 is equal to r, right? So, using these two, we get the numerator is strictly less than epsilon and the denominator is your r and this is mod of dz, an integral over c1. Taking this constant outside of this integral, we get epsilon divided by r integral over c1 of mod of dz and what is mod of dz yes it is the boundary of the circle or circumference that is 2 pi r right so integral of mod of dz is 2 pi r so this r cancelled out and we get 2 pi epsilon so we are getting the mod of integral of c1 f of z minus f of z0 divided by z minus z0 dz is less than equal to 2 pi epsilon and because epsilon was arbitrary arbitrary means we can choose any any small positive epsilon 0, 0.000 something like that any small epsilon we can choose so for that this complete mod will be taken to be equal to 0 then, right? So, writing this, but epsilon was arbitrary. So, therefore, the mod of integral of C1, f of z minus f of z0 divided by z minus z0 dz, this is equal to 0. And substituting this back to the equation 1, that is this one, right? So from equation one, the integral of f of z divided by z minus z naught dz over c over the contour c is equal to only the first term that is 2 pi iota f of z naught. Second term is 0. So this is 2 pi iota f of z naught. So, from here we can write that, hence, f of z0 is equal to taking this 2 pi iota to the other side. So, this is 1 divided by 2 pi iota integral over c, f of z divided by z minus z0 dz. Hence, Koch's first integral formula has been proved. Alright, thank you.